Hello, today I want to talk about the short line for the current interruption. The video is based on an online simulator which can be accessed on the this address here. A tutorial can be watched on YouTube on the this address here. In the Power System Training for Students number 3 we have learned how we can simulate the terminal fault. This is what you can see here. A terminal fault is a fault which happens directly at the terminal of a breaker. In this case we will have a look at the short line fault. This is a fault which happens uh, a few hundred meters or even a few kilometers away from the terminal of the breaker. This is uh, the most severe case of current interruption for a breaker. The fault current is flowing through the source side but also through the line segment between the terminal of the breaker and the fault location. At the current zero the breaker clears the current and across the breaker contacts there is a source side TRV but also a line side oscillation and the, across the breaker contacts there is a sum of these two voltages which are stressing the breaker. The biggest stress is coming from this line side oscillation and we will have a look at why. I have already prepared a circuit for you. In order to fine tune the parameters of the circuit, you do it like I have already demonstrated in the previous uh, lesson. Let's now run this one. I just want to run the current first so I know how it will look like. So I put 7, 5 and I put 100,000 steps. So we are now coming very close to the current zero and this is where I would like to have a closer look at. Therefore I change here without restarting the calculation, I change it to one millisecond and this is how the TRV will look like. This is now the current going to zero. At this moment the current is interrupted by the breaker and you see that the TRV is twofold. On one side we have the TRV from the source and on the other side you have the TRV which is coming from the line oscillation and both together are now stressing the breaker. What we will do now is have a very much closer look at what happens around this current zero because this is the location where the decision is taken whether yes or no the current can be interrupted since i want to have a close look at the current zero of the current interruption plus minus a couple of microseconds around the current zero i need to change uh, the model here i have used a very simple breaker model it's just a resistance switched on or off i want to change it and use a breaker model which is taking into account the arc behavior of the breaker so this is a breaker including an arc model and this is the one I will use. And if I open it, I can see that I have now two very important parameters. This is the Cassie-Meyer equation, which is used. You can have a look uh, on internet. It is well described there in the literature. I will take this parameter to 10,000. So it's 10 megawatt. I want to break to start the opening at one millisecond after starting the calculation and in order to see anything on the current side I just limit the maximum resolution of the current to 0.5 amps. Let's now run the simulation. First let's go to close to the current zero in 100,000 steps. So you see first of all two traces. One is this limited current trace, the green one and the blue one is the arc trace for the arc voltage and let's continue now our approach towards current zero. So I have to approach it in steps. So here you see it clearly. This was now a successful thermal current interruption. You see here the current, the green one is the current, and this post arc current, this little tweak here. So the breaker was uh, successfully interrupting this short line fourth current. There is always a race between the clearing the current, the cooling of the arc, because the arc is still ignited here. So the breaker tries to cool the arc so much that the recovery voltage cannot heat it up, heat it up successfully anymore, so the current can be interrupted. I will now show another case where the breaker will fail. 
So I use the same model as before. The only thing I do, I change the value of this stray capacitor here at the breaker. Okay, then I run the simulation again. I go to my previous time resolution, 100,000 steps as well. You have to test it a little bit. So here is again the arcing voltage and the limited current, the green one, and I change the time resolution now to... I have pre-tested it so that I can go a little bit quicker. So again you see the arcing voltage which is increasing, approaching current zero. And then you have now the current interruption. This time it fails. You see that the post arc current, which was a very small tweak before, has now grown up, so the heat produced by the arc is now so high uh, that, that the, the arc reignites. So this is a unsuccessful current interruption for short line fault, and the model is the Casimir equation, which is uh, demonstrating how the thermal behavior of a breaker works. I mean, again, to make the point clear, we have been looking just at the very initial phase of this TRV composed of two parts, the line side, which is this oscillation you see here, and the source side TRV, which is what would continue now to the peak of around about 1.4 times the source voltage. So again, learning by doing is the key thing. In order to do so, you can go to the simulator. It's under this address here, and then you can play around with this model and many others.